Hi guys, it's Erica from Brains to Beauty, and today I'm here to show you how to get volumized hair without teasing. If you guys have watched any of my previous videos, you guys know I have super duper flat, straight Asian hair. I don't know if you guys can tell on camera, but my hair has a lot more volume and a lot more body. It is because of this guy. This is the Garnier Fruit Teas Full and Plush Root Amp. It has an extreme hold of five. This product has been awesome. I have been using it on days when I need a lift for my hair and this stuff is legit. I will say you definitely want to use it on damp hair. If you don't, you will end up with a techie mess. I did use it on damp hair and I do feel the texture of the product in my hair because it is a spray mousse and it is a strong spray mousse. I wouldn't recommend using it on dry hair. You can if you want like a super boost, but you will end up with crunchy hair. So if you guys are interested in seeing how I added volume to my hair without teasing, let's get started. To start off, I just got out of the shower and I have super uber damp hair and I'm just gonna comb this out using my Con Air comb. And it's not really a wide tooth comb, but I just like it without using a brush so it doesn't really damage my hair. And I'm just using this to ensure I don't have any tangles before blow drying. And next I'm gonna go in with my Numi White Truffle Hair Primer and apply this all over my hair. Usually I focus this on my ends because that's what really gets dried out. And I kind of avoid the scalp, but since we will be doing a lot of blow drying near the scalp area, I'm gonna take whatever excess I have in my hands and I'm just gonna run this very lightly through the root area. I do have greasy scalp issues, especially living in Florida, so I really try to avoid putting a lot of anything oily near my scalp, but I definitely want to protect the ends of my hair because that dries out so quickly. Next, I'm gonna go in with my Garnier Fructis Root Amp. This is the amplifier that I was talking about at the beginning of the video, and this is what really gives me the boost at my roots, which is really nice because it's actually a spray mousse formula. As you guys can see, I sectioned off just the top portion of my hair. It's essentially from like the end of my eyebrow to the other end of my eyebrow, and then I just take that top section and I start applying the root amp. I apply it all over around the edges, and then I'm starting to section it off and apply it in like layers so that that whole top section has a ton of this spray mousse. It's super important to get this all over, and so I just take my hands and spread this product out, really trying to keep it at the roots, because the idea is that it's gonna add some tackiness to your hair so that it allows to stick to each other so that it sticks up and stays up. It's kind of like applying a regular mousse or even like a hairspray to the roots to give it that tacky texture so that it holds in place and stays upright. And here I'm using my Numi blow dryer. This is actually on medium heat on the second level of blow drying because I think there's like a high low medium and I think this is medium and for heat it's like warm. No, it's like cool, warm and then hot. And so here I've got on warm with the medium level and then once I get it like 50% dry then I go in with my round brush and I start blow drying. And the whole time, I'm always making sure to pull my hair up. You always want to blow dry it up and away from the scalp. You really want to just like pull up, pull up, pull up. Whether you're using your fingers or a round brush, you're always pulling up and away from the scalp, specifically around the roots. And I'm really just focusing on drying the roots. I'm not really focusing on the ends. And once those are pretty much like 80 to 90% dry, then I start blow drying everywhere else. But the whole time I always go back to the roots because as you're blow drying your hair, it starts pulling your hair down and you really don't want to pull any of that down because then you're going to be negating any of that volume you've created. So you always want to like go back and touch up your roots like I'm doing here. I'll go blow dry my ends and then come back, do the roots, ends, roots, ends, roots. This is to really like make sure your hair gets that hold. And as you can see, my hands run through my hair so softly, so smoothly. It does add a little bit of a tacky texture, but it's not sticky and it's not terrible. And then here I'm just going in and putting it on the cool setting and using the cool blast option 
to really set this all in place. So here it's completely dry. What the cooling does is it sets that volume in. And so I'm just going in with cool hair and just setting all of this. And then of course, once you're done, you gotta style it, get it back in place, get your part where you want it, and just make sure your hair is not tangled or crazy. And yeah, that is it. It's pretty simple. I do this probably every other day. I don't do it every day because I don't blow dry it every day. But yeah, that is it. Oh, and yes, I'm wearing my retainers. So that is it for the tutorial. If you guys have any comments or questions, make sure to leave them down below. Of course, if you like this video and found it helpful, make sure to thumbs up. And that is it. Thank you guys so much for watching. This is Erica from Brains to Beauty.